Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, despite the fact that we had some of that haze hanging around yesterday, it really just turned out to be a beautiful afternoon. And, well, we have a bit of a repeat offender on our hands today. And, in fact, expected to get a little bit warmer for today as opposed to yesterday, which actually was the warmest that we've gotten in the month of May so far, where we did top out at 81 degrees. Now, this does continue on with a trend that has been mostly above average. We take a look at May so far. Of course, the coolest that we had shouldn't come as a surprise that that was uh, very early on in the month where we did get below the freezing point. No mornings in the 20s in Eau Claire, however, for whatever that's worth. Now, as far as precipitation, we are below average where we should be uh, by almost two thirds of an inch. And snow, of course, we haven't had any of that this month where typically it's not like we get that much. We're only about a half inch shy. Otherwise, more sunshine in store for today, and a lot of that, as we've seen, somewhat filtered with some of this wildfire smoke that's been uh, hanging around still. Now, we will have a cold front moving through later on tonight. That should be dry for the most part. The most that it is expected to do is bring just a batch of cloud cover, but it does have the chance that sparking a very isolated shower going into tomorrow from about daybreak to about the mid to latter half of the morning before we stay dry. For today, again, expected to get into the low 80s, so even a little bit warmer than yesterday as we have that widespread sunshine. Here's a look at our Nicolet Bank Skycam overlooking Phoenix Park. Again, just a beautiful afternoon unfolding, and air quality hasn't really been a concern. We did creep into the moderate category from time to time, but still, it's just an elevated air quality index, not particularly uh, unhealthy. Looking at the temperature right now, though, 80 degrees in Eau Claire, but the dew point at 46, so it is rather dry. And looking at the temperatures across the viewing area, most of us are into the upper 70s and low 80s, of course, Eau Claire at 80, La Crosse at 78. But our winds have been mostly out of the south, fairly light in nature, most of us between 5 to 10 miles per hour. And aside from some of that uh, wildfire smoke, our satellite and radar has been resting pretty comfortably. Now here's a look at SkyCast for the rest of the afternoon. We're, again, we're expecting more of that sunshine, but watch from north to south. This is that cold front that'll start to creep in. Now again, most of us should stay dry as there's not a lot of moisture that's associated with this, but it will bring a batch of cloud cover going into tomorrow morning and a, wi a wind shift out of the east, which will, of course, keep things cooler along with the fact that we'll have that cloud cover hanging around throughout most of the day tomorrow. Now we'll get some peaks of sunshine from time to time, but then going into tomorrow night and into Thursday, still hanging on to a good bit of that cloud cover, maybe an isolated shower, but for the most part, a lot of us are expected to stay dry. And note that our winds will start to return mostly out of the southeast, and that'll keep things uh, on the milder side going into Thursday, coupled with the sunshine. For today, mostly sunny and hazy, getting into the low to even mid-80s. And later on tonight, mid 50s, so not as cool as we started off the last couple of mornings with variable clouds. But again, staying dry and really just a beautiful stretch of weather ahead. Tomorrow, a little on the cooler side with mid 60s, but that sunshine on Thursday brings the return of 70s. And we stay into the 70s through Saturday before Sunday. We warm it up even more. Overall, Memorial Day weekend as a whole is looking pretty beautiful to kick off the unofficial start of summer. Now for a Sunshine Award today, Sammy Lund would like to nominate Sabeth Peterson and says Sabeth goes above and beyond for everyone, including her customers. I've seen how she treats them and her employees also. She always wants to make sure her customers and employees are happy. She tells me I'm doing a good job and that makes a big difference when it comes to enjoying your job. She always makes sure that she thanks me after work and always shows me so much appreciation and she never gets to remind, never forgets to remind me of my worth. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. Mike, it's unusual to get this kind of weather for Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times for Memorial Day we talk about rain, but mm -hmm. uh, this time around it looks like mostly sunny, mid-80s, so just a, a beautiful day overall. All right. Thanks, Mike. You bet.